Olá, Deus te abençoe. Hello, God bless you. Thank God. Welcome to the Life Chain Today program. Thank you so much for being there. May God bless you very much, your home, your family, your week that is only starting. Happy Sunday. Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all things will be given to you as well. If the first fruit is holy, the lamp is also holy. Draw near to God, and God will draw near to you. See God with all your heart. You will seek me, and you will find me when you seek me with your with the whole heart. See God first. His eyes range throughout the earth to strengthen his search, those whose hearts are fully committed to him. Pray every day, asking God for insatiable hunger, for a love that is still don't know. Yes, Lord, give me insatiable hunger for you. Help me to love you in a way that I still don't know. I want to know you. Let us know. Let us press on to know the Lord. Be grateful. Don't forget. Bring to your memory what will give you hope. Yet, These I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Yet, these I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Remember what can give you hope. What give us hope? To remember who God is, everything He had already done. He has already done. The God who did does it again. It's Habakkuk's prayer. Do it again, Lord, in our generation. I have heard about your deeds. Trust in this God who is unchangeable. Hey, I have been reading the Psalm 103, and I perceive, I feel the Holy Spirit emphasizing, insisting in this Topic. Don't forget and forget not all his benefits. How will God make more if we have already forgotten everything he had already done? And forget not all his benefits. And forget not all his benefits. And forget not, you can't forget that he forgives all sins, that he heals all disease, that he fills our lives with good things, that He makes justice to the oppressed ones. Our souls must live to praise God, praise the Lord, praise the Lord on oh my soul, all my most being, praise His whole name, praise the Lord on oh my soul, and forget not all His benefits, Be all His blessings, all His favor. The problem is that people forget it so quickly, so fast, everything God had already done, who God is. They doubt about God's character. Don't doubt the character of God. And don't forget who God is. He's a rock. He's unchangeable. He's a loving father. He's a present father. Everything can pass, but His word doesn't pass. He's the same. His faithfulness is eternal. Oh, how God is faithful. There isn't the small possibility for God to fail. God doesn't know how to make a mistake. God doesn't fail. No. God is present. God answers. He says, call to me and I will answer. Yeah, and I will tell you great and firm things. Nothing is too difficult for God. Everything's possible for those who believe. Nothing is impossible for Him. It may be impossible for me, but for Him, it's possible. 
Look the value of dry bones. He took the profit there. He showed that scenario of destruction, death. Everything was destroyed there. There were only bones. And he asked, can this valley come back to life? The prophet said, only you know, Lord. So he said, prophesy. Speak to the bones and that and that amount of bones became an enormous, a huge army. Did this guy change? No, he didn't change. He's the same. He's faithful. He answers. He continued to change. Our valleys of dry bones. He continues to transform. Everything we have to do is to believe in Him. And when you call to mind everything he has already done, you fill yourself with hope. Yet, these I call to mind and therefore I have hope. You fill yourself with hope and you attract more for your life. Give thanks in all circumstances. When you give thanks for, for what you have, you have already lived. Have you thanked God today? for your life, for one more day, for everything he had already done. Hmm? Because I'll tell you something. Sometimes I find people saying that they want more, more and more. Another day I heard someone saying, Oh, I thought that God had forgotten me. You know, when I hear this kind of thing, I think, How? God forgot? Does God forget? I forget. God doesn't forget. God doesn't even nap. How? And everything he had already done for you, that was exactly what came to me. Wait, because something didn't happen, something that you wanted didn't happen, and everything that had already happened, and everything that God had already done, and what He has already done, it was erased from, from your memory. Because you're going through a difficult moment, so the rest doesn't exist anymore. What He did was erased. All the good things He made in your life. People... I had already, I already had a make kind of a list about what I knew of the life of that person and say, wait a minute, you had that, that disease, your son had that disease. Did you remember when you didn't have a place to live? Do you remember when you couldn't have dinner? If you had lunch, you didn't know if you, you would have dinner, you couldn't buy food. You didn't have anybody to help you. Did you remember when you didn't know how tomorrow would be? Look what did for you. He changed your life. He transformed. He healed, delivered, prospered, make, made you prosper. Today, your reality is another. Before you used to live a reality of diseases, misery, this is over. You don't live in, an, in, a, in a house of other person as a favor. Your circumstance changed for good. And have you already forgotten? Did you forget, did you forget everything that God did for you? Have you already forgotten? How? It's too easy, isn't it? When something didn't happen, when didn't happen, what, when doesn't happen what the person wanted, they forget how they forget how much they walked from where God brought them out, what God did for them. It's easy to forget. Don't do it. Make a list. I always say every day, make your gratitude list at least 10 reasons why you're grateful for. It keeps you 
with the right perspective. Call to mind, take note, everything that God has already done, that God is doing. God has been doing. Come on. You know, when I'm cooking, I like to remember the time that I, I had difficulty to, to put the food in the pan. Sometimes it was just a little bit of rice. There were days that I didn't have the rice. I lived it. Two or three days of my life that I didn't have rice. So, you can't forget. When I, sometimes I make that huge pan because there are a lot of people in my house who eat. I look and I think, my God, sometimes I'm there cooking and nobody can imagine what I'm remembering. The time that that, that wasn't common normal. That wasn't normal. Now it's normal. It's common. I don't even perceive it. Now will I forget? Forget the time I, I went through privations. And today, if I want to eat something, this is not a problem. But that was already a problem. So, will I forget? No. I have to remember every day that I was a person without energy, without perspective, without joy, frustrated. I remember I didn't have peace. I didn't have joy, you know. I didn't have reasons to get up. So I have to thank God because He changed it so much. My God, how many years I spent in hospitals. I used to leave a hospital. You know, sometimes a whole dawn there to be helped, assisted, and so much pain and problems. And Jesus made such a beautiful work that sometimes I cried and I thought, I won't be able to raise this child. Lord, have mercy. And when I look, they already raised. Everything passed. And I know that it was God who changed it. Look at your life. Maybe you have, you have so much to thank for. God has delivered you from so many situations. Situations opened impossible doors for you. He healed you from disease. He healed someone from your family. He has been supplying. He has been supplying your life. He has been filling your life with good things. You need to remember it. Praise the Lord, my soul. Oh, my inmost being, praise His whole name. Praise the Lord, my soul. No, and forget not all His benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your disease. Who redeems your redeems your life i was redeemed i was redeemed i know that you too maybe god brought you out of a hole of sin of condemnation of defeat who redeems your life from the pit i have already seen people who really was redeemed from the pit they came out of coma They were sentenced. They, they said that they would die. I remember a case that the doctor said, let the relatives know if anyone wants to come say goodbye. And we were praying. And the person came out. 
and crowns you with love and compassion. He redeems from the pit and crowns the person's crowned and honored, crowned with love and compassion. They see the favor of the Lord. The Lord doesn't just redeem them from the pit, from death, death, from sin, of sin, because the wage of sin is death. As from a disease, terminal disease, and even fear crowns a person with love, compassion, and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things. The person didn't have perspective anymore about good things to happen. Suddenly they are doing many things, incredible things. The Lord is filling their sides with good goodness and good things. Their existence is taken by so much favor and glory so that, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. They are renewed, renewed. And many, I say to you, I tell you, literally, Because the appearance, you know, the presence of the Holy Spirit brings luminosity. The person becomes luminous. Their skin, the eyes. Everything changes in that person. It's impressive. The energy. I see people today that they, they are full of God and they eat better. And they practice exercise. They have such an energy. I have workers in the church. Incredible. They're incredible. They make incredible things. And before some, they were taken from a hospital. And today they only live for the Lord. The Lord filled with good things. Filled them with good things. He has been crowned them with love. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. Yes, He works righteousness. Yes, He and justice for all the oppressed. He didn't change. Do you need a God who makes justice? A God who defends the oppressed? It's this God who crowns you with good things, with favor, huh? who renews you. It's this God. So that your youth is renewed. How? Like the eagles. The eagle. People, this is too beautiful, beautiful, too powerful. Meditate on this psalm. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. This psalm is incredible. Align yourself. Don't forget all the good that God has already made in your life. Made in your life. The Psalm 78 says this, Things we have heard and known, things our ancestors have told us, we will not hide them from their, de from their descendants. I will continue to tell, to talk about it. The deeds of the Lord, the greatness of the Lord, who God is, the character of God, the faithfulness, His faithfulness. We will tell the next generation the praise, bor the praise worthy deeds of the Lord, His power, and the wonders He has done. How will I live? Telling. And I live like this. I will invite you to live like this. Ask my family. I'm all, I'm all the time telling. I tell here, I tell to my sons, my daughters-in-law, my grandchildren. I make the, the service for the children and I'm telling the deeds of the Lord all the time, making this, talking it to more people, telling the deeds of the Lord, the deeds of the Lord, how He's good, how much He's good, how much He did for us, how much He's doing for, he's doing for us. And forget not all his benefits. The praiseworthy deeds of the Lord. Tell it. Give testimonies. What was the last time you gave a testimony? Come on. Start now here. Leave in the comments. It defies me. 
encourage me. Tell everything the Lord has been doing for you. I, I, I don't care about healed texts, healed audios. No. On the contrary, I love it. I love each message that is left here, each testimony. Send it. Tell it. Instead of you being there, get involved with what is happening in this moment. Call to mind. These have been my prayer. Lord, bring back the good memories of your people. Restore it. I want your people because I know that what's, that's what the Holy Spirit is working. Full of good memories. Not forgetting the deeds of the Lord. Don't forget and forget not all His benefits. Don't tell me that God has never done anything for you. Because this is not true. The fact that you're alive, I'm sure that God has been taking care of you before you look at Him, of you confessing Him. Before you have confessed in Him as your Savior, Jesus was taking care of you, and you know it. God brought you here. The God who brought you here will continue to guide you. The God who has been sustaining you will continue to sustain you. The God who delivered you from many things will continue to deliver you. Who made justice, who has already, who has already made justice, who had defended you. In, a, in moments of a lot of pressure, the God who has already answered you will answer you again. The God who did it once will do it again. Will do it again. He wants you to remember what He has already done. Because He will do it again. Get up. God wants you to remember what He has already done. Remember what He has already done. And forget not all his benefits. Here, look, we will tell the next generations the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power and the wonders he has done. I will tell, I will tell you, you will tell to your your children, to your grandchildren, to your friends, people who cross your way, the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord. You will tell about the power of the Lord and the wonders He has done in your life, in your family, in people's lives, in the, the life of people who you know. That's how we have to live. And every person who I find that is living like this, they are, fu they are full of energy, peace, energy, strength. They are walking and living powerfully. Get up and take this position. Call to mind. But will fill you with hope. Because God is here encouraging us to be grateful, to remember, remember everything He had He has already done because, because this will leverage, leverage our life. And it will it will fill us, fill our life with faith, with courage to advance for more. And we're going to live more. God will be able to pour out more. He will pour out more. Get up in Jesus' name with gratitude. <laughs> like this. Full of hope. I will remember what can give me hope. Hope is to know how to wait on the Lord. That's it. And when we wait on the Lord, we see His glory. Be a prisoner of hope. Call to mind the good things that the Lord had already done in your life, has already done in your life, in your family life. How many women tell me that they couldn't get pregnant And they show, look, this is what the Lord gave me. That they wanted their sentimental life restored another day. An old woman wanted so much to get married. It's a, an old lady. And she passed and she said to me, look, Bishop, this is my Boaz. God fulfilled the desire of her, her heart. 
people who sent me a lot of testimonies. Thank you, Bishop. I received that di diagnosis, but Jesus contradicted everything and healed me. Thank you. He opened a door for, of work. I bought my house. Thank you. I'm living the dream of a lifetime. How many have been telling me that they are leaving the dream dreams that they have been waiting for for a lifetime, promises of a lifetime that they put in many purpose they are living now. And they will finish this year as the the best of their lives. I don't doubt about it. Come on, fill yourself with God, remembering His greatness and His deeds. Because the Lord who had already done a lot for you, He's saying here, I will do much more. I have much more to pour out in your life. Be grateful, believe, because I will do. If you believe, desire, and want to pray with me, prepare something you want to receive prayer for. I'll be right back to pray with you. Senhor, meu Deus, e... Lord, my God and my Father, I pray for it to dear life that is with me. And I ask, may this word have changed their perspective, transformed their lives. Lord, given them vision, clarity, understanding, discernment, wisdom to live. May they have already gotten up with this decision to live with this perspective, Call into mind the goodness of the Lord, the deeds of the Lord. May they decide today to start to exalt your name because I have been learning this with you, Lord. When I'm with my heart afflicted, instead of thinking about affliction, problems, I start to give testimony about what you, has, you have already done. And sometimes just for me, you know me. Sometimes just for me, you know about it, Lord. During my prayers, how many times I just bow down my knees and I just tell what you have already done for me. I tell to people, I tell in this, in this program, I get this money all the time and it's impressive. Even my energy is raised. Everything is changed and suddenly, and I see your work. I I leave that place differently. May this person learn not to talk about problems, but about your deeds. Jesus, I love you. Thank you for everything. Visit homes, families, all who sent their prayer requests. I consecrate everything. And I ask, Lord, may each one be involved, covered with this cloak of gratitude. May each one have been suffering a baptism of gratitude now, Lord, of courage, of boldness. And may I leave people totally different. Bless my friends and fellow sowers. I prophesy the gift of wealth, prosperity, and anointing of conquest, and anointing of ten times more. Give me an abundant mentality mentality because wealth is mentality raise more sowers because we need them and wherever this program is reaching may lives have been transformed through this board this understanding may i live renewed people transformed completely different for the glory and honor of your name convict people about your faithfulness Praise be your name for everything. Thank you, Jesus. I ask for your blessing. I give my blessing. And I thank you so much for everything. Amen. 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 Thank God. The Life Helpline phone number is 5511-32986-9449. We are located at 995 Taquari Street in Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's where we are today at 9... I'll open the fa I'll open the fast for the maintenance of my conquest projects. We'll celebrate the Lord's communion, consecrate the tithers. It will be in all our temples. Take your family, bring a guest, and we'll be very happy having you here. Be among us. It is always a pleasure to serve. And if the Lord Jesus doesn't come back, I will continue here talking about life and life change. Have a nice day. 
Amen.